EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the beachside town of Hilton Head and Harbor Town Golf Links, it's final round coverage of the RBC Heritage. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner. As you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon, our leader is indeed our featured golfer. It has been a textbook performance to this point. And that's a good way to start this final round. It's in the fairway at the first. Noticeable breeze coming right to left as he eyes his second. Oh man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green and back into the fairway. That stings. Oh, how's that to get a final round started? Off and running, a hole out for birdie to get the day rolling. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Superb position right in the fairway and 200 yards to the flag stick. Normally they stick a T in one end and a flag in the other. You advance the way. But that second shot on this par five, that completely took the green out of play. Air mail. That is a big mistake. Okay, no problems there. Finishing off a birdie at number two. And he's going to move to an incredible... 39 under for the tournament. The driving's been sensation all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona Steven. 130 yards left to the flag. It's a nice round number. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to account for that. It was a good shot coming in here. I know it's a little long, but still inside that 10-foot circle is always good and even money, really, to make birdie. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. And that score moves to, get this, 40 under par. Oh, look out. That's too far left. Oh, that was just never online, and it will be into the hazard here left of this par three green. Okay, so the drop made, and this will become his third at the par three. That one finished off. It is a bogey here at four. Unfortunately, with a big lead already, 
Very little damage done. Trying to curl this one back toward the fairway. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five, Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Yes, a very well played hole. That's in for birdie. And he will definitely not say no to that. Driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. So Iona, this is second from the fairway. 125 is the number. Just a flick, pin all the way at the back. He can fly it the full way. Well, as an old baseball announcer once said, Going, going, gone. Goodbye. Oh, is that any good? Perfect. That was tracking pretty well, too. That could have gone in for the same price. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll remain well, well under par. Solid shot, and sometimes solid throughout the round will win the day. This one measures out to 15 feet. Oh, yes, indeed. The line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And to no one's surprise, he's going to move even further under par. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. He just made one on the previous hole. This slightly longer for another birdie. Yes, getting caught here just before the turn. That's birdies now at seven and eight. And he is just unstoppable right now.
Now, got to manage the pine straw here with his second. Okay, good putt there for his par here at the ninth. And that will be a 31 on the front side, five under par. Nah, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. This is where club selection is so important. Second shot into that stiff breeze. This one has a chance to be close. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Chance now for another birdie. A good opportunity lost there. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And pars are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. That is going to come to rest squarely in the center of the fairway. Couldn't ask for anything better. Split the fairway, and now I'll have a go at this second shot. Are you really going to take that seriously? That ball wasn't even going to land on the green, but it's finished up fine. A long one coming up here for birdie. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. So that brushed in for par here at 11. And he's going to maintain that substantial lead. From the pine straw now, his second. Um, yep, it finished on the green. <laughs> Less said the better. He's hoping here to at least get this to tap in range, but it is for birdie. Yeah, a little short, but that's pretty good effort there. That one safely in, and it's a par here at 12. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is.
chance to set himself up for a good scoring opportunity with his second shot here. Good chance at one. Now that's an excellent shot. Inside that 10 feet circle, a little long, a little left, but still good. Now this for another birdie. Yes, a good roll there. That's in for birdie. And stop the presses if you've heard this before. He's well on his way to yet another victory on the year. That one, safely on the putting surface. 15 feet away. Another rolled in there. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And this is no longer a contest, folks. This one is all over but the shouting. do just fine. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. Really need a birdie right now. Okay, a good out, and that's what will remain for birdie. Oh, how about the run here? That a third consecutive birdie. And this one was over a while ago. This is just a walk in the park now. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. And that not going to work out as intended. It'll wind up coming to rest just off the green. Oh, that's how you do it right there. The approach misses the target, but the putter coming through from off the green. And that is a bit of a surprise birdie. Well, putts come in all shapes and sizes, right? Made the long one on the previous hole, and now he has a much shorter look. Either way, make another birdie. Yes, smart play from that distance. Just use the putt. 
putter. Make sure you get the line. And this one goes down for a birdie. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. From the fairway, Iona, this is second. Yes, there's 135 yards to the flag and the pin on the front portion. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. Birdie chance here. Very long putt, though. Got to be a little careful if it gets away on him. Oh, that is a beauty in for birdie here at the last. And this is going to wind up being a scintillating round of 60. Frank, I guess we can say, I hope our featured golfer looks good in plaid. That's what you get for winning here, that red plaid jacket. What a tremendous victory. It is. I mean, that jacket stands out, doesn't it? Especially when the cannon goes off, uh, you know, the RBC heritage. Um, you know, it's one of Pete Dye's sort of most famous golf courses, too, that, that gets plenty of love from the players. So, you know, you've just won at a venue that uh, there's many a player would gladly uh, change places right now. So, for Frank Nabilo, notably gave the third, Iona Steven, and a cast of hundreds. I'm Rich Lerner. You've been watching PGA Tour Golf on EA Sports. So long, everyone.